Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. In this one we're going to continue looking at conditional formatting. And here we can see the conditional formatting that I set previously and if I highlight those cells that carry the formatting, click my conditional formatting button, go down to manage rules, we can remind ourselves what those rules actually were and the first one is any value less than 10 is formatted as light blue and any value greater than 15 is formatted as a light green. Okay, let's close that for now. Now with those cells selected, let's just say that I've decided I no longer want to have any conditional formatting. To remove it from the selection, I go back to the conditional formatting drop down, come down to where it says clear rules, and if I come across you'll see there are four options there. I won't go over the bottom two just now, but the first two are relevant. The first one is the one that I want, which is remove rules from the selected cells. And be careful of the second one, if you click that one by accident, it will remove the conditional format rules from the entire worksheet. So click on that only if you need it. So in this case, it's just the first one. So click on that. And if I click away, you will see that I no longer have conditional formatting applied to those cells. I'm going to reselect the cells because I want to apply some new rules. And this time, go to conditional formatting, come all the way down the bottom, and go straight to manage rules, and I'm going to create them from here. So, first thing to do is click on new rule. And all I want to have happen is that my highest value is highlighted and my lowest value is highlighted, and everything in between is left as it is. In the conditional formatting rule type list here, if you see the third one down, that's pretty much what I'm looking for because it says format only top or bottom ranked. So if I click on that, we'll have a look. And you can see, if I just move it to one side, that I have some drop downs here. I've got top or bottom. Well, I'll be using both of those. But I don't want the top 10, so I'm simply going to highlight that and overtype the number 1. Don't tick on the percentage button as it's not relevant here and I'll choose my format for the top one. I'll go to more colors again. Choose a slightly brighter green. Click OK there. OK. So there's my first bit of formatting. Just click OK to confirm that rule. And There's the first one. So the top value will be color green. I'm going to add another rule now. So again click on new rule. Use the same options. So it's format only top or bottom. Click on that. This time, click on the drop down and select the bottom option. Again, replace a 10 with a 1. Click the format button. Go to more colors, and this time we'll have something like a, a yellow to indicate the bottom value. So click OK there. Get a preview of the formatting. Click OK. OK again. So there are my two rules. Yellow for bad, green for good. Let's click OK. So just click away there and you can see there that my low value is yellow and my high value is green. Now to prove it all works, if I go to, let's say, Casablanca and improve those rentals up to 15, you'll see that Casablanca now becomes the top performer. And equally, if we go to 2001 and maybe double the rentals on that to 10, you will see that Godfather becomes the worst performer. And that basically is how it works, is that as the figures update, Excel automatically re-evaluates the numbers and applies the formatting depending on whether a value is the lowest or the highest. Simple as that. And finally here, if I come to sheet number two, you'll see we've got another spreadsheet set up. This is Fred's monthly sales from January to May. And you'll see there we've got these change values indicating whether the sales have gone up or gone down. And you can see the number, whether it's a positive or a negative. And you can see, for example, in March we had negative 250. Um, in May we had negative 100. Now, sometimes it's not immediately obvious that, that it's a negative number, so we might want to apply conditional formatting to give a more clearer picture of which values are going up and which values are going down. So I'm going to select the cells, the change values. I'm going to ignore the January change number because that isn't being compared to anything, so we'll leave that. And I'm simply going to select E3, hold down the control key, select G3, I3, and K3. 
and those are all the change values that include or contain a formula. Go to the conditional formatting drop down and come down to icon sets and I'm going to choose the top option. I could choose the second one which is a slightly more subtle graphic but I'll stick with the arrows at the top there so just click on the arrow icon set just click away so you can see more clearly and there you can see it gives you a much clearer impression of which of those values are improving and which of those sales figures are going down so there's another way that you might apply conditional formatting to the spreadsheets that you're working with okay so that concludes this look at conditional formatting there are many more things we could cover and i might come back to that in future tutorials but just for now thanks for watching hope you found something useful in there and see you next time